When you're pregnant, it feels like there's a list as long as your arm of foods to avoid. One of the foods that usually pops up on this list is certain types of cheese. Now, if you're a cheese lover like me, you're probably wondering why all these restrictions are in place, as well as which cheeses you can eat during pregnancy. Well, you've come to the right place. Stay tuned and I'll share some of my favorites. Hello, my name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a dietitian who specializes in pregnancy and infant nutrition in a period known as the first thousand days of life. What you eat during your pregnancy will have a long lasting impact on your growing bub. And that's why I've made it my goal to help mums to make the right choices. Traditionally, cheese is a dairy product that can be made in a variety of ways to produce cheese products that vary in form, taste and texture. The reason why you need to be careful of certain cheeses is that they're exposed to Listeria monocytogenes, the bacteria that causes listeriosis during the manufacturing process. Many cheeses also have a pH, which is a measure of acidity, that is optimal for the growth of Listeria. Now, Listeria is very dangerous to you and your unborn baby because this infection can cause premature birth and even a miscarriage. So it's important to keep yourself safe. Now let's start with which cheeses you'll need to avoid. The first question you need to ask is, has the milk used to make the cheese been pasteurized? Regardless of which animal it comes from, whether it's a cow, sheep, goat, or any other, you should only eat cheeses that have been made from pasteurized milk. During the pasteurization process, the milk is heated to a certain temperature, usually to 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds, which kills the dangerous bacteria. Most commercially available cheeses use pasteurized milk, but it is always safer to double check by reading the cheese's label. Now, if you're buying your cheese from a deli, then you'll need to ask if the cheese has been made from pasteurized milk because many artisanal cheeses use unpasteurized milk because it's believed that it gives a unique flavor which many connoisseurs enjoy. Other cheeses to be wary of include mold ripened soft cheese, such as brie, camembert and chevre, which is a type of goat's cheese, as well as soft blue cheeses, such as Danish blue, gorgonzola and Rockford. Now in general, soft cheeses contain more moisture with the mold on mold coated cheeses containing even more moisture and are less acidic than their harder counterparts. This high moisture, low acid environment is the perfect combination for harmful bacteria to grow. However, the good news is that you don't have to avoid these types of cheese completely. You simply need to cook it until it's steaming hot to kill any looming bacteria. So with that out of the way, let's have a look at which cheeses are safe for you to eat in pregnancy. My favorites are number one, Parmesan. Parmesan cheese is an Italian cheese rich in protein and calcium. It has a powerful taste, which I absolutely love, meaning that a little can add a lot of flavor to your foods. It's obviously great sprinkled over pasta, but also delicious flaked through salads. Now, number two is cheddar. Cheddar cheese is one of the most famous types of cheese worldwide. There are loads of different styles, such as aged, with or without rind and waxed, which make it taste very different. Cheddar is great on crackers or in a sandwich, so it will definitely come in handy during your pregnancy. Number three is Edam. Edam is a semi-hard cheese that's creamy and delicious on a cheese board, paired with some nuts and wedges of crispy apple or pear. It has a low moisture content and is protected by a wax seal. So it makes it one of the safest cheeses for mamas who are trying to avoid listeria. And number four is halloumi. So halloumi has a much higher melting point than most other cheeses, making it great for cooking without losing its shape. So although it can be eaten cold, it's most commonly eaten hot, which obviously decreases its listeria risk. Personally, I love its chewy texture. 
It's quite high in salt, but as long as it's eaten in moderation, it should be a delicious part of your pregnancy diet. As I mentioned before, when choosing any of these options, double check that they have been pasteurized. It should be stated on the label. Also check how it's been stored and any best before dates. So there you have it, cheese to avoid and cheeses to enjoy safely during your pregnancy. If you're in doubt, don't be shy to ask because when you're pregnant, it's always better to be safe than to be sorry down the line. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to make sure that you don't miss any content. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.